Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Straps. I have Eric here from Beat Surfing. As you can see, we have a lot more gear on the table. He's gonna go in depth as to what we can do with his new app. Yeah, man, thanks. So yeah, I got Beat Fader here. This is kind of an interesting little one and I, I just thought I'd quickly show you how we can set it up on your mixer. It takes like two seconds to do. <laughs> nice. And then we could try it yourself and then I'll kind of tell you a bit about it. So first, in, we're in Ableton, same as with any DAW. We go to our MIDI settings, make sure that remote's on for the S7, right? You can kind of see in there, there's S7 and remote. All right, so we close our settings and then we just hit MIDI and we've got down there in the control panel, you can see it says fader. I click on it and you can move a fader that you want to map. And then I'll just go ahead and turn off the MIDI real quick, MIDI mapping. And now when you play it, you should have a beat. Oh shit. Yes. So yeah, so what you can see is if you look at the actual, the actual beat fader kind of UI, right? You mm -hmm. see how it's traveling, the fader's traveling across. You see all the little notes reacting. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, like you can, you can see at the bottom, it moves across, plays the notes again. And all the up top, we've got the faders that you can change the pitch and all that sort of stuff. So what we're really doing is we're simply triggering samples as we go across, right? Mm -hmm. So it hits it like steps, so it, it triggers each thing as you yeah, go. Yeah. And the, oh. the kind of concept came from the guys back in 2011 made like a Ableton, uh, Max for Live patch. So Max for Live is like a kind of programming. You can make your own little plugins or synthesizers and stuff oh. through that. And so they made a, they made one with this concept, like just using any knob fader. Like we can also map it to a knob to anything that you know you can move uh, back and forth, a, a channel strip or anything, right? Hmm. And and kind of being able to perform your beats or your electronic music, you know, because like when you make EDM or you make hip hop, even right, if you want to play the beats, you just play the beats, sit back and wait, right? And besides, <laughs> I mean, we cut, but other than that, like. There's not much for the producer to do or the yeah. person who, so it kind of gives you a way to perform. And then they took that idea from the, the, the Max for Live patch, so the moving across, and built this app called Playground. And th that came out, like, I guess it was 2011. So 2012, iPad's huge, you know, and they thought, oh, well, now we have like a touchscreen surface to mm -hmm. swipe across. So the idea, again, in the middle, we got shakers, right? Different percussive elements, same as here. Oh wow. Same thing. We got kicks on the left, snares, right? And the playground app we took like tracks and broke them down like that so you could kind of perform your tracks. And then the beat surfing app, which is kind of the the beta of what we want to do globally, was just the idea of like being able to make your own layouts, build drag and drop little drum parts in, sample pads. So you can synthesizers. Just, you can just make anything on the fly. Yeah, just... make make it on the fly. Use it for production. Use it like for live performance. Like if I'm sitting here, I need a drum beat it, you know, and we're recording something. I can just quickly like make some little creative things. Mm -hmm. um, same with here, right? It's it's all just samples, right? So like in here, if we put a drum rack on Ableton to here, you can see on the pads all the little samples being played as it cycles through. Oh no way! And a, an additional thing they give it a little more scope is you have on the kick side and the snare side, mm -hmm. you have a counter, so it's playing multiple samples in a row, so, and then on the snare, you can hear it's like one, two, three, yeah. four, and resets, you can do little things, you know, say, okay, I want it to play after a kick, play only two different snare samples, and you can get really complicated with it and build this, this global thing. So the whole idea was that, you know, performing your productions live, and also like giving you a world, a tool to make new music. You know? Yeah. And so the, the beat fader thing, it's literally the concept from 2011 put into a plugin format. And you can, you can you know, drop grooves on in Ableton. So instead of playing this beat that we've made, it'll have that swing to it or whatever, the groove pattern you dropped in. You know? oh, okay. There's a looper. So I, I mapped earlier your, your cue pad here. So now it's like going to loop. Are you able to loop your, your beat surfing app as well? Yeah, yeah. There's a looper within the app. And the beat surfing app, it's only on iPad. And it was basically a proof of concept. Mm. So like, Here's what we're gonna bring to the DAW world, and in the meantime, we're building lots of other plugins. We've got like synthesizers and drum machines and all these little parts that will build up the kind of ecosystem of the performer eventually awesome. that we're working towards for the later in the year. But this, like, for being a scratcher, like, it was so much fun to just to like load a beat up, like almost. It feels like you're scratching a beat. I mean, with the kicks, you know, and yeah. Having a little brief interaction I had right now, I was like, oh, I was already it, hooked. It felt so much fun, like, right away. It oh, was just yeah. such a blast. <laughs> and then to be able to quickly loop it and then actually cut over it, it was just, yeah, really, really fun. Yeah. And you can go really deep with multiple instances of it and things triggering and 
So we'll let Jean, who's uh, the co-founder of the company and one of the creators of this, kind of show you. Oh, please. You guys can have a little session together. So I see right now we got Ableton working on the computer. Is there any other DAWs that we work with? Or is it yeah, universal? Yeah, it works with everything. So it's a VST, and it also has AAX or Pro Tools, right? Mm. So, I mean, Fruity Loops, uh, yeah, Logic, Reason, any of that stuff. And then uh, really any MIDI controller, right? So it doesn't have to be a DJ mixer. Like we have here uh -huh. the, the Tractor, uh, Z1, F1, all these faders. Like I had a, you know, a, a, the newer 808s, they work because they have anything that has MIDI, right? So even knobs, if you got a, a, the mod wheel on a keyboard at home, yeah. MIDI keyboard, you know, you can play beats on that. Oh, no way. Um, yeah, anything, really. Any knob, fader, uh, mod wheel will work. So you can add in while you're, you're hitting your beats on the fly, you can, like, let's say, just pitch on the go and Yeah, every, every little note has, a, a, as, as well, this little representation with the, with the up faders there. That's like volume, there's pitch. Oh, um, and, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, like pan yeah. even or something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. And if you had multiple instances, right? You could you could even say like on this one, uh, this fader, I want just the shakers from this one. Then load my sample synth. If I want a synth to come in as like an arpeggiated synth across it over here, and you could just layer and layer and build all this stuff into one little fader. You that's know? And dope. Maybe have the knob switch between the different instances, and mm -hmm. you can go really deep. Uh, and get some real crazy stuff out of it, dude. I can't wait to I can't wait to see what Jean does with this. This is gonna be really sweet. Yeah, it's really fun. And like it takes two seconds to set up, and yeah, it's really really fun to fuck with. Is there a price point on this right now? Where can we find it uh, in terms of uh, just getting it? For yeah, ourselves? beatsurfing.com is our website, and we have all our plugins on there. We're also available on Plugin Boutique, and uh, I think the street price right now is seventy nine, but it, quite often we put it on sale for twenty bucks, oh, price nice. of a record to try it out. And I'm sure by the time you're seeing this, it's gonna be on sale as well. So. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, price of a record, it's it's so deep and you can really get a lot out of it, so it's, it's well worth it when it's on sale. But, but, oh but yeah, uh, I'm already sold. <laughs>